with the uh, Flying Hawaiians and the Devil Dogs game two of the series, my uh, broadcast got interrupted by being dropped somehow. I don't know whether it was internet or Twitch or what, but we're back in the top, or rather the bottom of the fifth. The uh, Hawaiians have one run in with one out, nobody on. Here's Ted Williams to face Garrett Cole. It is a 6-8, six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight against a lefty, and that is a walk. Not too many walks for Cole, but that particular role is. And Williams is on with another walk. Here's Larry Walker with no with one out. Four, nothing. And the pitch to Walker is a 5-8 against a lefty. This time a strikeout. And with two outs, Ted Williams at first base. Here's Joe Maurer. Havoc. Nothing. And the pitch. A 5-7 against the lefty. Second base X. That's Frisch. He's a 1-E-14. Two. Good thing he's a 1. He's going to make the play. And a 10. That's not going to be anything. So Frisch making a very difficult play. But making it, getting the out, and that ends the inning. So one run is in, and the Flying Hawaiians lead going to the sixth, three to zero. And Garrett Cole is due up in the top of the sixth inning. You want to keep him in for now? You're trailing three to nothing going to the top of the sixth. And Garrett Cole is due up. Yeah. Uh, put in... Hmm. You, know, you want to hit somebody? Yeah, put in Cole. Who do you want to hit? Pujols. Albert Pujols. So Garrett Cole's day is done. He pitched pretty well, but he um, gave up three runs in the five innings. Here's Albert Pujols pinch hitting. And we'll see how he does. He faces Dutch Leonard. Here is... Oop, hang on a second. All right. Got to, got to get Leonard on the mound there. Here is uh, Pujols facing Leonard. It is a... 2-6. That is going to be a solo home run for Albert Pujols. So good call there by the manager. Pujols takes the uh, pitch from Leonard and deposits it into the left field seats and it's 3-1. We'll see if he stays in the game by chance. All right, so that gives us back to the top of the order. No outs. It's Frankie Frisch. He's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. A 5-4 against a righty is a ballpark chance. And Frisch may actually get a, hit, a, a, a break this time. Righties are 1-8, to eight, and it is a 6. So a, a, a single for Frisch is he... Sneaks one through, gets a break, a seeing eye grounder. And with Frisch at first base, the tying run comes to the plate and the man of Mike Trout. Now Frisch, if he wants to run, would be, let's see, make sure what uh, Maurer is. Maurer is a minus... No, it's not. It's a minus three. It's going to be minus seven. It's going to be one to 11. So you're not going to want to go. But they are going to have to hold him. And with Trout coming up, it's going to be the first and the second baseman that are responsible here. Nobody out. Frisch at first. Here's the habit. It's an 11. And the pitch to Trout. It is a 2-9. Oh, I struck him out. 
keep waiting for Mike Trout to break out, and we know he will, but I'm not getting the rolls yet. So here comes Jimmy Fox with one out, and he represents the tying run. There's the Havoc. It's a five, so nothing. And the pitch to Fox is a 6-6 six, six against a righty. 1-19 to 19 is a single. It is an 11. So Jimmy Fox with another hit this series. It's only a one star, so it's basically like an infield single. And that moves runners to first and second with one out. For Dick Allen, the big slugger. Allen. Could give the uh, Devil Dogs a lead with one swing of the bat here. Here's the habit. It's an 18. And the pitch to Allen. They're looking for that one. They don't get it. It's a two. A two seven. Oh, that is a strikeout. Bummer. Couldn't get that one column roll for Allen. Bunch of home runs there. So with two outs. Here's Matt Kemp. Here's the Havoc. It's a one. Uh, Leonard is a wild pitch to one to two, so roll it again. It's an eight, so nothing. And here's the pitch to Kemp. It's a five eight against the righty. That is a routine ground out to third. So a little bit of action there for the Devil Dogs, and they do pick up a run on the solo home run by Albert Pujols in his pinch hitting role. So who's on the mound now for the Devil Dogs? Uh, Folk, or maybe Gossage. Lidge, those are the guys I'd recommend. Octavio Dotel, these are all multiple inning guys. Okay, in the middle of the game, I would recommend one of these three. Or four, actually. Each of these three guys can go, can go a full inning without potentially getting tired. He can go two full innings without getting tired. Yeah, let's go with this guy. The big the the goose. The goose. Goose Gossage. All right, so Goose Gossage will be the relief pitcher. He's also been a really good closer in his day. But he goes with the goose. So let's put him in to pitch. Let's see, here he is, Goose Gossage in to try and keep this game close and give the Devil Dogs a chance here in the later innings. Bottom of the six facing Todd Helton. He's one for two with a home run. Goose Gossage toes the rubber, the pitch to Helton, a 3-7. That is going to be a strikeout. So Gossage starts off with a K. Of Helton and now faces Wade Boggs. One out. There's Boggs. A 6 5 versus a lefty. Another strikeout for Gossage. So two strikeouts to start off the inning, and here's Arky Vaughn. On the pitch. A 4 8. 4-8 against a lefty is a walk. So a two-out walk by Gossage. Um, to run, it's going to be 1-12. to Actually, 1-10 to if they're holding him, and they are. So he's not going to go, but they do have to hold him. And that brings up Dutch Leonard. Leonard, the pitcher. He's staying in the game. He's going to hit for himself here. He's one of the best all-time pitchers and got a 3-1 to lead. Here's the Havoc. It's a 15, so nothing. And the pitch to Leonard. Oh, 
right where I can't see it. It's a 5-9. Now Leonard Bats. Oh, oops, that's not Leonard. Leonard Bats left-handed. 5-9 is a strikeout. So Gossage strikes out the side. Keeping it a 3-1 to one game. 3-1. to one. Going to the 7th. Jose Bautista steps in to face Dutch Leonard. The Devil Dogs need a base runner. Here's Leonard to Bautista. A 5-8 versus a righty. 5-8 is a ground out to third. And with one away, that brings up Gary Sanchez. Sanchez steps in. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. A 1-5. And that is gone. Gary Sanchez with a one-out home run. And it's a 3-2 game. So the Devil Dog staying in it with some good pitching and a couple of home runs, and it's three to two. Leonard's point of or Leonard's point of weakness inning is the eighth, so he doesn't even he's not uh, in any threat of being tired here unless he gives up five runs. Here is Cal Ripken Jr. as Gary Sanchez just went yard. Yeah, I heard it. I saw the <laughs> Here's the pitch to Ripken. A 2-8. Oh, that is a ground out to third. And that brings up the pitcher spot again. Gossage. You want to hit for him? Maybe should have done a double switch. Last inning, but we didn't really think about that. So, first off, who do you want to hit? Pujols, by the way, hit a pinch hit home run. I don't know if you heard that. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a left-handed pitcher, so your left, your right-handed hitters are Hoyles and Rendon. Oils looks pretty good against lefties. Rendon's got some good ones there too. Not doesn't look like he has maybe overall quite as many. So we got a pinch hitter for Gossage. And it's going to be Chris Hoyles with two outs. And nobody on can Hoyles get a hold of it. So go ahead and decide who your next pitcher is going to be. And Leonard to Hoyles. It's a 6-5. Six, 6-5 five. Six, five against the righty. Uh, it's a shortstop X. He's a 2-E27. He makes going to make the play. That's an out. <laughs> So Hoyles puts one on in play, but it's fielded by Vaughn, and that ends the inning. But it's three to two now. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Octavio Dotel will come in to pitch. And you're at the top of your order now, unless you don't really need to think about double switching. So Octavio Dotel will be the new pitcher. He faces the top of the order, Tris Speaker, leading off. He's two for three, Speaker is. Here's the pitch. Dotel is a right-hander. It's a one-nine. And he walks him. Ah, oh, bummer. I thought that nine, a lot of times that nine's an out. So Speaker on base again with the leadoff walk. If he wants to steal, it would be 17, 18, 1 to 15. So he's going to look at going. He stole last time and went to third on a wild throw by Sanchez. 
Here is the bot kickoff. It's a five, so nothing. A three, four, five, or six to get his lead. It's a five. So one, what did I say? One to 15. Here's the pitch. Speaker goes. And he's in there. So Tris Speaker with another stolen base. And with the runner at second, nobody out. Here's Eddie Collins. Eight, so nothing. And Dotel, the pitch to Collins. A 2 8 against a righty. That is a ground ball shortstop B. I think the runner may advance though. Second base B. No, he doesn't. So Ripken checks the runner, holds him at second, and gets the out at first. So with one out, here comes Ted Williams, dangerous guy, with uh, Larry Walker on deck. Here's the habit, and it's an eight, so nothing, and the pitch to Ted is a four-six. Four-six against a lefty. One to two is a triple, but it's a four. So a fly out to center field. Woo! Sigh of relief there. Ted just missed that. Mike Trout with a great catch. Keeping the runner at second base. And here's Larry Walker. Three to two. Bottom of the seventh. Havoc is a six. And the pitch to Walker is a one-nine. There's that nine that I thought, and one scary, and certainly on his column, but there's that nine that isn't out, ground out to second. So another sigh of relief for the Devil Dogs. <laughs> it's a potential rolls, killer rolls there. So we go to the eighth. It's three to two. Frankie Frisch leading it off. Single his last time up. Dutch Leonard is still out there. Now this is his point of weakness inning. Any combination of three hits or and or walks, and he's tired. Here is the pitch to Frisch. It's a 5-5 five, five against a righty. He gets the strikeout. Mike Trout, this is where they need him. He hadn't, hadn't been swinging the bat that great yet. Can he come up with something right here and tie this ball game? Here is Trout stepping in against Leonard. It's a 1-6. It's not a home run, but it's a big one. It is a split roll triple 1-10. to It's a 20, so it's a double. So Mike Trout gets off the schneid. He doubles over the center fielder speaker and he's at second base as the tying run with one out. Now, Trout, if he wanted to run, no, he's not a threat to run or to steal third. Alright, Jimmy Fox with the tying run out at second base. Here's the Havoc. It's a seven. And that's strike one against Leonard, by the way. And the pitch to Fox is a 4-9 against a righty. He struck him out. Oh, man. So it's up to Dick Allen getting the start today at third base. With two outs, here's the habit. It's an 11. Need something off the hitter's card here. A 1 or 3 column. And here's the pitch. It's a 3. It's a 3-5. That's going to get it done. 1 to a triple for Dick Allen. 
Fly ball, triple, rattles around in the corner. Mike Trout scores easily. And Dick Allen is at third base as the go-ahead run. So that's strike two against Leonard. One more hit or walk against him, and he's tired. We are tied at three. Here's Kemp. With two outs. Leonard trying to finish out the inning. Here's the Havoc. An 18, so nothing. And the pitch to Kemp is a 5 3 against a righty. It's a ballpark single chance. Uh, righty. In his ballpark, 1 to 8, and it's a 16, so fly out. But the Devil Dogs tie it on a double by Mike Trout, a triple by Dick Allen, and we're tied at 3, going to the bottom of the 8th. You want to stick with Dotel here? Yes. Octavio Dotel is out for a second inning of work. He has the potential to get tired, but of course he's not yet. And he faces Joe Maurer to lead it off. Maurer. It is a 6-9 against a lefty. That's a shortstop X. That's uh, Ripken. He's already got one error this game. I wouldn't expect more than one. <laughs> he makes the play and a 14. Better double check that. 12. No. It is not an error. So Ripken makes the play for out number one. And here comes Todd Helton, who is one for three with a two run home run early in the game, in the second inning. Facing Dotel. Here is the pitch. A 3-11 against a righty is a ballpark check, and he's a lefty, so he's probably going to be a hit. It, uh, yes, it is a single for Todd Helton. So we'll say hard ground ball single. And with one out and one on, Helton not a threat to run. Here comes Wade Boggs. Looking for that double play ball. The corners uh, are not in, and they're playing normal defense. Not holding it. Here's the Havoc. It's a one. Uh-oh. He's a wild pitch, one to four. It's a 17, so nothing. And here's the pitch to Bob. It's a 6-5 against the lefty. He struck him out. So Dotel with the big strikeout of Wade Boggs right there. Two outs. And here is Arky Vaughn. Here's the Havoc. It's a nine, so nothing. And the pitch to Vaughn is a 6-12 against a lefty. That's going to be a routine fly out to left. So we go to the ninth. Tied at three. Jose Bautista leading it off. Dutch Leonard is still out there. He was due up. He would have, they would have uh, taken him out, but he stayed in now since he didn't come up to bat. So here's Bautista to lead it off. A 110 against Bautista. That's a ballpark home run chance. He's a righty. One to eight, and it's a ten. Just missed it. Caught on the warning track by Tris Speaker. Bummer. <laughs> So Gary Sanchez with one out. Here's the pitch. The 
It's a 612 again. How about that? Righty 612. That's a routine fly out to center. And with two outs and nobody on, it's Cal Ripken Jr. Here's the pick. It's a 5-9 against a righty. That's going to be a routine fly out to center. So Bautista puts a charge into one, but doesn't get quite all of it. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. The Flying Hawaiian's looking to walk it off. Now Leonard is due up, but they're not going to hit him. Let's see, they're going to hit Buster Posey. So Buster Posey will be the hitter. Let's see if he can get a hold of one and walk it off for the Hawaiians here. Posey the hitter. And Leonard's day is done. He goes nine innings. Gives up three runs. Dotel on his point of weakness? Uh, Dotel is not. He can pitch another inning. He has the potential of getting tired, but... Okay, I'm looking for Posey here. Buster Posey. There he is. All right, so Buster Posey is the... Here is the... Uh, Matchup with Posey and Octavio Dotel. And the pitch. It's a 5 4 against a righty. That's a third base X. That is Dick Allen. Uh oh. I don't know how he is defensively over there. <laughs> Maybe should have thought about changing it. It's a 3 E16. Here we go. Oh no. This is going to be a hit for sure. And a 13. Uh, that is not an error, but it is going to be a single for Buster Posey. So Posey is on as the winning run. And let's see what the Hawaiians want to do here. Do they have anybody that can run? Uh, possibly. Um, Omar Vizquel. He is a threat to run. Jeff Bagwell is a little bit more of a threat, although he doesn't. And he already hit. So they're going to go with. Let's see. Dotel is a plus hold, so I don't know if you want to do anything here. Viscal is going to pinch run. Uh, uh, for him to steal, it's going to be 17, 15, 16, 1 to 13. Unless you go to somebody that has a low, uh, higher hold, better hold number. No, you can leave him. All right, so the pinch hitter is, or the pinch runner is Omar Vizquel. No outs. Let's see what happens. He's got a... Here's the balk pickoff. It's a one, so he's not going to get a jump. He might be picked off. One to 12. He's safe. It's a 14. So Dotel picks him off at first base after the leadoff hit. The scale comes in as the pinch runner and gets picked off. That's got to be embarrassing. So there's one out, nobody on. 
and Tris Speaker is the batter. Here's the pitch. It's a 4 8 against a lefty. Four, oh, he walked him. Yeah, he gum. So he gets the pick off and then he turns around and walks Speaker. Speaker is a threat to run. After that walk, probably switch him out for Brad Lidge. All right, so a pitching change for the Devil Dogs. Yeah, that's a good move. Brad Lidge will be the new pitcher. That'll make it much harder for Speaker to run. And we'll look at that in a second. So Dotel gave up a hit and then picked off a guy and then walks the next guy. <laughs> so Brad Lidge is the new pitcher for the Devil Dogs. And with Collins in one out, Tris Speaker the runner at first. Uh, for him to run, it's going to be 17. And another bounce pass. It's going to be 1 to 12. So not a really high number, but they're going to try to get him there. He starts off with a 19. So 1 to 12. Here's the Bach pickoff. It's a four, so nothing. He's got to be a three, four, five, or six to get his lead. It's a four. So here's the pitch by Lidge. And the throw down to second. And they get him! <laughs> Just bury yourself right there. Speaker gets thrown out by Gary Sanchez to Cal Ripken Jr., and that brings up Eddie Collins. Eddie Collins, not a home run hitter, so it was better to try to get Speaker to second base there. Here's Collins with two outs and nobody on. Facing Lidge, 4-4 four, four against the lefty. That is a catcher, ah, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, catcher X. That means it is a roll for the catcher's defense. He's a 3-E-4. Probably won't be anything. Uh, 13. On the catcher, E-4, 13. Nope, that is going to be a pop out to the catcher. Sanchez. So we're pull we've got extra innings. We go to the tenth, tied at tied at three, leading off for the Devil Dogs in the tenth is Brad Lidge. So I'm sure he's not he's not hitting. Got to see who the new pitcher is. The new pitcher for the Flying Hawaiians is going to be. Middle relief guy, because there's no telling how long this will go. All right, let's check something here. Viscal. Let me play shortstop. Okay. The new pitcher for. The Flying Hawaiians. They're going to stick with their lefty motif here and bring in Willie Hernandez. Willie Hernandez, the new pitcher, so still facing a lefty. So with a left-handed uh, pitcher, uh, you want to go then this time with uh, Rendon? Yes. So Rendon's the uh, hitter. Top of the 10th. We're tied at three. Here's Willie Hernandez facing Anthony Rendon. And the pitch. It's a 6-8. Six, 
Six, eight against a righty. Yeah, it's a ground out to first. We'll see if Rendon stays in the game. Here's Frankie Frisch with one out and nobody on. Batting right handed a three seven. Against the lefty is a ground out to second. And Mike Trout. He's due for a big fly. There's the pitch. A 2 6. Not this time. It's a ground out to second. So they go quietly in the 10th there. Um, need a new pitcher again. Facing Ted Williams in the bottom of the 10th. Folk? Yes. All right, the new pitcher for the Devil Dogs is Keith Folk. Right hander, really good at holding runners. And he will face Ted Williams to start it off. Here's Folk and Williams and the pick. A 2-7. Uh, I got him. Fly out to center. Oh, I was a little worried that was going to be it. Uh, that was going to be one of Ted's walks. It would have been if it was an 8, but not. So one out. And here is Larry Walker. Walker to face Folk. Here's the pitch. It's a 6-5 against a lefty. He struck him out. And here's Joe Maurer. Seeing if he could put a charge into one and walk it off here. Here's the pitch to Maurer. It is a 5-11 against a lefty. That is going to be a fly ball to center. So nothing doing much for either club in the 10th. We go to the 11th. Can you, can you... Willie Hernandez is still in there to face Jimmy Fox. Oh, wow. Here's Fox stepping in. He's one for four. Here's the pitch. It is a 5 11 against a righty. It's a left field X. That's Ted Williams out there. He is a, a 3E11. Um, a 9. We better check that. E11. No 9, so it's not an error. An 8. Oh, he just makes the play. Ted with a shoe, shoe top catch there. Robs Jimmy Fox of a hit. And here is Dick Allen. Looking to put a charge into one with one out. Here's the pitch. It's a 4-7 against a righty. 4-7. It is a fly out to left. And it's Matt Kemp. Willie Hernandez, here's the pitch. A 110. 
and Matt Kemp goes yard. Just double checking there. Home run for a righty, one to eight. It's a three, and Matt Kemp puts the Devil Dogs on top with a solo home run to left. With two outs and nobody on, big one by Kemp right there. Here is Jose Bautista. And the pitch. A 5-9 against a righty is going to be a shortstop X. He's a 2-E-27. It's an 8, so he makes the play. And a 7, I'll double check that. E-27, there's no 7 there. So Vaughn makes the play, and that ends the inning. But the Devil Dogs take a 4-3 lead on the home run by Matt Kemp. We go to the bottom of the 11th. Todd Helton will be leading it off, and he will be facing let's see who the closer is. He is going to be facing Rivero, or I mean, Al Felipe Alvarez, or Leclerc. No, I do uh, Felipe. Felipe Alvarez, a left-handed throwing closer. They to face Todd Helton. Need three outs for a win here. We got Felipe Vasquez is the closer. He's facing Todd Helton. Four to three, needing three outs for the win. Here's the pitch. It's a six-six against the lefty. He gets a leadoff strikeout. One down. Here's Wade Boggs. Boggs steps in. He's 0 for 4. Here's the pitch. It's a 3-10 against a lefty. Oh, man. It was almost a ballpark home run chance, and it, but it is not. It's a fly out to right. So with two outs, it's Arky Vaughn, the shortstop. And they need a base runner really bad. He's got a high on base percentage. Um, he's a lefty. They're going to pinch hit. I'm not sure if they have somebody else to play short, though, so let's, let's see. They're just going to have to figure that one out if they can tie it up. The pinch hitter will be Jeff Bagwell. Well, they do have Ernie Banks. Jeff Bagwell will pinch hit for Arky Vaughn. He is one of the best against left-handed pitchers. You want to leave uh, Alvarez in to face him? Or you want to go to a right-handed right pitcher? No, you can leave him in there. All right. Here we go. Two outs. Nobody on. The big slugging Jeff Bagwell against Alvarez. Here's the pitch. It's a 3-9, and that is going to be a double. Against a righty, it would have only been a walk, so it still would have been on base. And so Bagwell with a two-out double 
representing the tying run. Ernie Banks is going to come in to play shortstop if they tie it. And that brings up the pitcher spot. So another pinch hitter. And that actually will be Ernie Banks. He'll stay in the game and play shortstop if he happens to get a hit to tie it. He represents the winning run, and he's a big hitter against lefties as well. Here's Banks. With Bagwell at second base, the tying run. The Havoc is a four, so nothing. Felipe, I've been saying Alvarez, Vasquez. Felipe Vasquez. The pitch to Banks is a 2-9. That is going to be a routine ground out to third. And that is our ball game. Dick Allen on to Fox. And an 11-inning win for the Devil Dogs, 4-3. to three. Matt Kemp, the hero, with the solo home run in the top of the 11th. Uh, Felipe Vasquez comes in and closes it out, faces uh, some lefty mashers and Ernie Banks and Jeff Bagwell, but gets the job done. The winning pitcher, the winning pitcher will be uh, whoever pitched last. I think that's going to be. Uh, Dotel, the losing pitcher, Willie Hernandez, and the save goes to Felipe Vasquez. So after trailing 3 to nothing early, the uh, Devil Dogs fight back throughout the game, and they end up winning this one 4-3. to three. Again, Matt Kemp with the big home run in the top of the 11th in 11 innings. All right, that's a ball game. Thanks for being here.